All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to show you how I made this little stand uh, for my iPhone. Uh, you can see right now it's in landscape mode, um, sitting on this stand. Um, you could put it in portrait mode, um, or you can even flip it over and do it in like super vertical landscape mode. Um, but it's just made out of a 0.08 inch uh, thick piece of plexiglass, roughly about a sixteenth of an inch. Um, but it works pretty good. Um, but Works good. Um, holding the phone up um, is very, very cheap and easy to do. Uh, let me show you how you'll do it. Uh, what you will need is a piece of plexiglass. Um, I've already pre-cut mine. Um, I haven't pre-cut the length, just the width. Um, but you'll need an iPhone or iPod Touch, uh, pencil, um, razor knife to cut it out um, and then what I use to make the bends is this butane torch um, um, what I did I kind of held my phone at the, the angle that I, I think I'd like it at um, this isn't a real scientific way but that's how I did it and it, it turned out pretty good um, but and I held my piece of plexiglass up uh, about 90 degrees and if you still have the protective covering you can go ahead and mark across the, the face of the plexiglass um, I have removed the, the protective covering because um, I'll have to do that in the next step anyway um, so if you've got a pencil you can actually just kind of put a little mark on the very edge of the, the plexiglass um, so that's where I want my first bend, and this is this bend. Um, I got pretty close to the same same length, but you know you can you can make these however you want. Uh, there, I got the mark um, about right there, and I'm just going to take this flame and, and pass it over up and down this mark quickly and lightly. Uh, stay in one spot too long, it's going to uh, cause some bubbling and you know, it, it kind of turns out kind of crappy. Uh, but what you're doing, you're just heating the, heating the plexiglass up uh, in one area uh, to make it soft enough so you can bend it. Uh, good idea to do both sides. If you watch the, the glass, uh, you can kind of see it gets a little bit clearer uh, after it gets the temperature. So I'm pretty good. You can kind of see it flexing around. Uh, and you want to try to get this as square as possible when you bend it, uh, just so it's not all curvy and weird but you want to bend you want to make sure you're bending square and then kind of figure out the angle and you need to hold it uh, just until it cools off kind of blow on it a little bit hold it cool release your hold and if it holds you're good and you can let it you know sit up a, a few seconds uh, Hold my phone on the edge, you know, just lay it down flat, and this is to mark the bend that's going to cradle the bottom of the phone. Uh, so I take my pencil, and once again, I'm going to mark just a ballpark on the edge, because um, it doesn't really matter if my phone's up this way a little too far, there's still enough weight there uh, where it's not going to tip over backwards. So, uh, just mark. Go from there.
once again here it's just kind of an, an eyeball make sure you kind of get it straight if it kind of looks like you bent one side a little sharper than the other you can get the torch back out and reheat a little bit and see it kind of starts to Now, throw your phone in there, and I do. You know, once the phone's in there, I'll mark it. Uh, I'll mark just how much I need to cut off. Um, I don't want it sticking way out past the phone out here. I'm going to mark it down a little bit lower than the phone. see the leg of it sticking out here um, but I'm gonna take my mark it's about right there um, and that's pretty pretty bright right there but just take a straight edge and a razor knife as straight as you can and then or across it. Try to score in the same place every time. And it would be a good idea to wear gloves when we do this. Uh, just kind of thin and it'll pop right off where the where your score mark was. Uh, there you go. That's how you make one of these stands and have fun with that. Enjoy guys.